Hi, in this video I'm going to show you some functions that help you convert uh, numbers to text. Now there's two functions here that I'm going to cover. One is the fixed function and the one, other one is the dollar function. So what the fixed function does is it rounds a number to a specified number of decimals and it formats it uh, with periods and commas. Uh, and the dollar function, what it does, is it does something similar but it also adds the dollar sign in front of it. In and of itself, these functions probably don't have too much value uh, unless you are in a situation where you're doing a mail merge. So if you're familiar with mail merge, you can actually take a list or a table of data and kind of plug it into a form letter or an email. What happens in a mail merge is sometimes when you have numbers in the cell and then they merge into a letter format, some of the formatting may be lost. So for example, uh, if you had dollar signs in front of your numbers when you do a mail merge that actually could have been lost that instead of having something where it's twelve dollars and fifty cents in mail merge the eventual output when it comes out into word for a a letter document or email that particular twelve dollars and fifty cents with a dollar sign in front of it may become lost and it'll just be something like twelve point five so in order to kind of fix that you can actually turn the the numbers that you have into a text and then include it as part of the one of the columns in your mail merge. So these are the two functions that can probably do that for you and I'll go ahead and cover what each how each one works. So with the fix function you can see here the fix function takes uh, three arguments. Uh, two of them are uh, optional which is this decimals and no co no uh, commas. So if I want to use the fix function in this particular example I can just if I didn't want to use it with any type of arguments aside from the, the number I'll just type in fixed I'll go ahead, it, Excel found that for me, so I'll go ahead and just double click that. And I just click the number itself and press enter, and it'll just come back the same. And you'll notice that it doesn't look like it's different, but if you are familiar with the way that Excel sees numbers uh, versus text, you'll know that Excel sees numbers and aligns them up to the right side of the cell. And with text, Excel sees text and aligns them up to the left side of the cell. So that's one easy way, easier way to kind of eyeball and figure out if a value in the cell is a number or is a text. If it's right aligned, it's number. If it's left aligned, it's text. So let's continue on with other arguments that you can put into the fix function. So for example, if I type in fixed, and then I'm going to select the number, and maybe I'm going to choose uh, the number one. I want to have it go one decimal place. So one decimal place would be 11 point, and this one up to the tenth decimal, pl decimal place. So that will turn into 11.7. So if I close the parentheses, you'll see that it's done that. The next example, maybe I want to put uh, a negative. Maybe I want, I want to have it round up to the tenth place here. So I'll type in equal fixed, tab that, select the number here, and I can put a negative one. So minus one means to the left of the decimal. So it should be 1160. Uh, so if I close parentheses, press enter, you'll notice now that it goes out to 1160. So it's kind of rounding it to the tenth place to the left of the decimal. Now, if I didn't want to have any decimals, and I'm trying to round it, round it out to uh, that, the stop it at the decimal there, all I need to do is type equal fixed, and then select a number, and then put zero, no decimals. So if I press close it with parentheses, press enter, you notice it rounded up to 12, right? And so it rounded up to 12 here, so it kind of lopped off 66, it, it rounded up to 12 from 11.66 to 12. Now, in this example, if I wanted to not have that comma to separate the thousands place, I can actually just put a, another comma there and choose one of these options. By default, uh, it will, it, it, it's false, do not prevent commas. It will always have commas in there, but if you didn't want to have commas in there, you can select true, press enter, and you notice that the comma to separate the thousands place is gone. So the last example I want to show here for fixed is maybe we want to have it go out to the third, uh, the third spot after, to the left of the decimal. So what I can do is type equal fixed, and then select a number, and then minus three, press uh, enter, or press the, use, close the parentheses, press enter, and it should indicate 1,000, because 1,000, it's gonna round it down. So that's 1,000 there. So those are the examples for uh, fixed. Now these are the examples for dollar, very similar to fixed, um, and you'll also notice if I type in a dollar here, and just select a number here, and close parentheses, it will give me the same thing, but then put a dollar sign in front of it, 11.66. And you'll also notice that usually with currency, it's, it's treated as a number in Excel, and it should align it to the right. But since the dollar has converted to text, it's aligning it to the left. 
So I can do the same here for uh, this particular example. If I put dollar and then put uh, the number one, it'll only be one decimal place. It'll be very similar to this, $11.7. Whoops. Let me go ahead and select the, num the, select the value here and then put the number one, close parentheses, and you notice that it's $11.7. So this for third example for the dollar, I'm going to put equal dollar, and we're going to select the number here, and we're also going to make it minus one, uh, close parentheses. It'll be the same as this, except put a dollar sign in front of it, and of course also put the comma separated for each for thousands. So if we wanted to do nothing here, we want to follow the same format, it would do the same thing. So put dollar, and just select this, and the number zero, we don't want any decimal places, it's going to round it up, round it, uh, up to $12 with the dollar sign. So the last example, uh, very similar, but it's going to do the dollar sign in front of it. So I put dollar and then select that number and do minus three. What it's going to do, it's going to round it to $1,000. So as I mentioned before, in and of itself, the, these functions, if you were to use it within uh, Excel as in, o in its own file, you really can't do any type of calculations because what it's done, it's turned the numbers into uh, text. But if it's a situation where you're getting this data from somewhere else and you kind of want to transform it in a way where you can do a mail merge into uh, a bunch of mail letters or emails and it's probably like maybe 100 email letters or 100 letters to 200 whatever, you can actually convert that particular uh, value into text because in mail merge, some of the formatting may be lost if you do a mail merge. Uh, specifically, the dollar formatting. Any of this dollar formatting that you have within your sheet itself, it could be lost when you do a mail merge and you find that that does happen. So if you want to kind of keep that format, you can use uh, the dollar function to help you uh, keep that consistent between your Excel file and your eventual mail merge file on Word. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.